Good morning, folks. Uh, today, I'm going to do a little bit of a presentation for you on protein and the optimal sources of protein that you should be getting into your body on a daily basis. And um, upping your protein level is hugely important, regardless if you're trying to burn fat or build muscle. It is an essential element in your dietary needs throughout the day. So without further ado, let's get into this. I'm just going to share my screen quickly. Beautiful. There I am. Um, all right. Let's get into this. Optimal protein sources let's get into slide number one okay just to give you the reason why protein is important proteins are made up of chemical up of chemicals uh, the building blocks called amino acids your body uses amino acids to build and repair muscles and bones and to make hormones and enzymes uh, they can also be used as an energy source so Protein is used almost for everything in the body, but the important words there I want you to understand is building and repairing. If um, we're building and repairing the body, the body is always healing, the, the body will always be at its optimal. So removing protein from your diet would be a big mistake. Eating um, can boost, eating protein can boost your metabolism for a short while. That's because your body uses calories to digest and make uh, use of the nutrients in the food. The, this is referred to as the thermic uh, effect of food, uh, TEF. And we've gone through this before and how our body breaks down calories. A lot of protein sources can take a lot longer to digest than other foods. Therefore, it requires calories in order to break it down. And um, I'm a big fan of eating solid foods. I am definitely uh, not adverse to juicing and having smoothies, but eating solid food has a greater calorie consumption um, than having liquidized food, that is for sure. And the final point on this slide is uh, food cravings are difficult uh, from uh, different from normal hunger or like being hungry. Um, one of the best preventions, uh, preventative methods uh, is to increase your protein intake when it comes to cravings and hunger. Um, proteins will keep you far more satiated than most other foods. Um, and because of what most proteins contain, they will help curb those cravings that you might have for, we'll say, not the most optimal foods out there. Okay, right, let's get into it. The protein sources that I'm a big fan of. Um, right, I'm going to start off here with red meat and steak. Red meat and steak is probably one of the most bioavailable sources of um, uh, protein. It's, it contains pretty much everything that you would need from a protein source, including uh, your amino acids. Now, I've said earlier on about amino acids. I am not listing the amino acids in all the protein sources because most natural sources of protein will contain all most if not all of the amino acids required for the body to build uh, to create hormones and to rebuild muscle um so what i'm going to just outline here is some of the important things so red meat and ground beef um similar if you can uh, choose steak over ground beef it's always probably for me the good better best scenario it's the best out of all those scenarios if you can source meat that is produced uh, as grass-fed beef or a sustainable farm that is optimal also um much more so than you know factory farmed beef but you have red meat that contains niacin b12 iron zinc uh, carotene and creatine so you have niacin which is fucking just fantastic for the nervous system and skin um good rebuilders for that your b12 iron and zinc just going to boost your immune system right up keep you strong and healthy all the time carotene is an uh, it will aid in it's an amino acid which would aid in your metabolism if your metabolism has slowed down or isn't working as well as it should for maybe not eating the best of diets or maybe not eating enough food at all, uh, eating red meat is a great way to start stimulating that um, metabolism for you. Um, and obviously creatine. This is what, you know, um, we supplement when we're working in the gym to make us stronger. 
it is contained naturally in red meat. So if you're not eating red meat, maybe think about it. Um, it's definitely one of those most um, bioavailable sources of amino acids that is available out there. So if you're not consuming uh, at least one steak a week, um, maybe start to increase or add that into your diet as of now. Next, we're going on to our fatty fishes. I'm a big fan of salmon and sardines, definitely salmon. Sardines is the quick, you know, snack that you can have with crackers um, and, you know, uh, just on the move if you want to get a quick omega-3 boost into your body. Your, your, your salmon contains selenium and uh, potassium, B12 and omega-3s. Your selenium is basically an antioxidant that um, helps uh, regulate thyroid function as well and improve thyroid health health and and obviously your omega-3s is a good uh, fatty acid to be getting into your body to in order to help produce the good hormones that the body requires in order to work as well as can be protects joints as well fatty fish you know if you have sore joints and irritated joints from maybe exercising and and um, uh, just wear and tear getting fat, fatty fishes into your body is essential now, there's other ones as well out there like uh, trout and um, haddock and different fishes like that. Um, but trying to get salmon into your diet at least once a week will be a good call. Okay, so let's roll with it. And now we're getting into our eggs. Um, I love eggs. Eggs, and if you can eat eggs um, as often as possible, maybe in the morning, you know, it's a good breakfast. Um, uh, it's a good breakfast to start the day with, having eggs and maybe on toast with a bit of avocado. Uh, but having boiled eggs throughout the day as a snack is fantastic as well. Eggs contain everything. Please eat the whole egg. Do not get rid of the yolk. Listen, my my thing is always bodybuilding and you'd always hear, um, you know, bodybuilders going for the egg whites and, you know, removing the yolks. I'm not a believer in that. The yolk contains all these vitamins that I've listed here. First of all, you're containing, you've got your omega trees, your selenium, but your vitamin D, vitamin B6 and 12, your, your zinc, your iron and your copper. These are all very essential, um, um, like minerals that your body requires to stay fit, healthy and optimal. Um, so removing the yolk is not what I recommend. Keep that bloody yolk in there, eat the whole egg, fry them, scramble them, uh, boil them, doesn't matter. Eat them, put them into your smoothie. Who cares? Just get your eggs into you and the whole eggs. They ain't bad for you at all. From here, we have the where the egg comes from, the old chicken. And what came first, the chicken or the egg? Who gives a fuck? They're fucking delicious, all right? So eating chicken, again, you will get the same things that are in the egg. It's just the egg turns into one of these motherfuckers. Um, you can get an easily snackable chicken from the supermarket that's already pre-cooked. This is not, again, it's it's good, better, best scenario. Can you cook the chicken yourself? Absolutely. Can you slice it up and bring it in your lunch? Absolutely. But if you're in a pinch and you want to grab some crackers and chicken and cheese from the supermarket, that is a good protein snack to get you through the day. So let's think outside the box here. Chicken is a great source of protein. For me, I find it a little bit boring. I would always go for a red meat first, but if you like it, it is there with the optimal sources of protein. So make sure you get onto it. Okay, here we go. Our dairy section. Um, ch milk, cheese, and Greek yogurt. Look at the list of um, benefits it has. Sorry, not benefits, um, vitamins and minerals it has. Um, you will get a huge quantity of optimization, if you want to call it that, from your dairy products. Now, I understand for sure a lot of people struggle drinking milk and maybe eating cheese because of a lactose intolerance. Well, if you do suffer with a lactose intolerance and you still need to get these um, vitamins and minerals into you, try Greek yogurt. Most of the people I work with that would have some sort of a lactose intolerance, um, when you get a good quality Greek yogurt, um, um, pot set, they can consume that pretty damn easily with no gut irritation. Okay, so um, I myself 
will have will go through maybe five liters of milk in in only two days. I love the stuff, um, but I understand as I said, people cannot tolerate it. So definitely using Greek yogurt. I put Greek yogurt in smoothies, and then at the end of the day when I'm having a dessert, I might have Greek yogurt, some berries and some dark chocolate, just mix it all together. Greek yogurt um, is a fantastic source of protein as well. So those are some options for you there. Now we're moving on to the last one, protein powder. If you feel you're lacking in your protein, um, uh, protein consumption throughout the day, a protein powder is a good option. On my scale of good, better, best, it's good. I would always prefer if you would go for a natural source of protein from your food, but protein powders can help boost up your protein content throughout the day. Um, as I said, it's um, not probably the most optimal, but it can be used. So the takeaway from this presentation today, upping your protein level is hugely important to build muscle and to burn fat. I would always be recommending and when you're tracking your calories that 30% of your calories uh, would be in and around the 30% would be uh, uh, made up of protein. Sorry, biggie, 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 that's all folks. 30% uh, of your calorie count for the day will be made up of protein. This will adjust according to where you are in your goal and specific to your goal. However, that's a good place to start. Remember, eating protein should be consumed with your carbohydrates and your fats, not protein on its own. Do not eliminate um, uh, macronutrients uh, without a good reason for doing so. But boosting your protein is a great place to start in whatever your journey is. So I hope you found that presentation um, somewhat helpful. Um, I enjoyed making it and I will see you soon.